Welcome to a clothing haul, a thrifted clothing haul for my two-year-old. I thrifted her autumn and winter wardrobe from Goodwill and a local thrift store in my small town. I also, for the first time in years, <laughs> curled my hair and it's not holding up well. Okay, it was really like ringlet curls earlier in the day, like three hours ago. So now it's just kind of like frizzball central. I don't know. I usually just straighten my hair and call it a day, but I was feeling adventurous. I recorded this in a um, my morning routine or get ready with me. So be sure to check that out if you want to see me attempt to curl my hair for the first time in like 10 years. Babies grow at an alarming rate. So I feel like I'm buying my kid clothes every couple months. Um, and when they're a baby, everyone around you is like, oh my God, can I buy you some baby clothes? Oh my gosh, I saw this and I had to get this for your baby. Once they hit like one and a half, your friends and family stop buying your kids clothes, <laughs> okay? But that doesn't mean that they stop growing. So we have been um, having to buy her a lot of clothes, where it's in the beginning, we were gifted a lot of clothing. So in the spirit of sustainability and affordability, we have been thrifting as many clothing items as we possibly can. It is fall officially and my kid had zero sweaters, zero, she had one coat that was getting too small because it was a size 12 months and she is 20 three months she turns two next month crazy goodwill had a ton of stuff but here's the thing is goodwill has gotten more expensive i swear it's gotten more expensive over the years so a shirt is like five dollars when i could go to walmart and get the same shirt for like 4.99 like i would save a cent buying it at walmart than i would at goodwill but i'm trying to stay sustainable and not support fast fashion which is exactly what a big box store would sell as fast fashion so i'm doing my best all right i'm doing my best and goodwill has their like um color of the day so i tried to buy a lot of the color of the day so i would get a discount on it and my friend just told me about um this exclusive four i think is her youtube handle she told me about 99 cent mondays at goodwill so i'm excited to start checking that out so i'm sam by the way this is my channel i post every friday i upload a video if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to see more of my content and if you click the bell button then you'll get a notification every time i upload a video all right so outerwear i went to goodwill with the idea to find a sweater i didn't find a sweater i found a sweatshirt this was the only sweatshirt they had in her size. She does not watch Toy Story. We tried to get her to watch Toy Story and she's not interested. It's fleece on the inside. It fits perfectly. It's sturdy. It is a size 2T, which is perfect. Um, this is going to fit for a while. She had a coat, okay? She was gifted a size 2T coat, but she doesn't like it. It's polka dot. And every time I'm like, you know, which coat do you want? The too small one or the one that fits? And she always picks the too small one. So she really didn't like the coat she has. And I saw this. Look at how cute this is. It's camo and it has embroidered flowers and butterflies. And she's super into butterflies right now. She goes like this for flutter flutter. She loves this coat. It also has plenty of pockets for her rock collecting activities. Um, it's a zips and it has buttons and it's a size 2T. It's actually old navy, which is pretty cool. Um, it's really thick. It's gonna be perfect for winter. I only got one sweatshirt and I got one coat and then I got one, two, three, four, five, five sweaters, basically jackets, kind of sweaters things. So this one I got at the local thrift store for 50 cents. That's right. You heard me right. 50 cents. It is a size 4T. So this is going to fit for a really long time. And I thought it would be perfect for spring and fall months where it's not like super cold, but it's cold enough for a jacket. It zips up. Um, it's thin. And of course it has butterflies, which she's super into. The next is sweater. This is more of a sweater than a jacket. It's a cardigan. Guys, this is the cutest thing. So cute. It's a 3T. 
but it fits perfect. The sleeves are a little long, so we cuff them, but I just think that's cuter. She loves this thing. She picks this one the most out of them all. This was 50 cents at my local thrift store. That's the thing about local thrift stores or smaller thrift stores is things are way cheaper, um, especially kids' clothes. Like the kids' clothes I bought at Goodwill were two to three dollars a piece. The coat was like five dollars and the sweater I think was four. Um, and all of the pants were like three to four dollars. So it really adds up. I ended up spending a hundred dollars at Goodwill, um, but I did buy her entire wardrobe. And then I spent two dollars at the thrift store and got her four items. So money definitely adds up. So I got this for 50 cents and I'm really excited about it. It's in perfect condition. It's heavy, so it's gonna be perfect for winter. It has a hood, which is really cute. What a find, so cute. This little piece from Old Navy is a 3T, so it's a little bit baggy on her, but I couldn't resist like the old man cardigan look. And this is great. This and the plaid are definitely gender neutral, so I'll keep both of these in case I have a boy baby. Um, but yeah, we cuff the sleeves, and this is great. It's light. It can fit over any long sleeve tee. This one's Old Navy, and it's 2T, and I get the Fair Isle design. I, it's just so cute. And it's got a bow down here. Dude. And all the buttons are intact, okay? That's the thing about <laughs> thrifted clothes is a lot of the stuff is missing a button where it has a hole or there's a stain in a place that isn't obvious until you take it home and you put it on and you're like, oh, okay, this has a stain. This is why it was donated. Kids grow out of clothes so fast. And if you don't know people with kids, then you're just kind of keep donating stuff that you don't want to keep if you don't want to have more kids. So that's why I think all of these kids clothes are in such great condition. And that's it for outerwear. So I did get, oh, her other dress. Oh, I'll put a picture of a dress that I got her. It's dirty though, because she wore it yesterday. Um, and I thought it was perfect for Christmas because it's plaid and it's sparkly. I did get, this is, this is Old Navy, it's a 2T, so it's a tunic, it definitely needs to be ironed. But who has time to iron, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think I've ironed a single piece of clothing in my entire life and I'll be 30 next year, so. But you know, what's an iron? Who knows? Who knows? This is a tunic and it's thin, but I thought it would be perfect for fall with a sweater on top and some leggings beneath and maybe some boots. So cute. Other dress I got, the third dress, is this sweater dress. <laughs> okay. It fits her perfectly right now. So that lets me know that it won't fit for long because it fits so perfectly right now. So I'm going to try to get her to wear this as much as possible <laughs> to get some wear out of it. But I tried to get her some more jammies. She has two sets of jammies now that are long sleeve and long pants. So I was really looking for jammy sets. Um, they didn't have that, but they had these cute penguin jammies. It says royally sleepy and they've got little sparkly stuff. Sparkly cameras and crowns and stuff. And so we've already started wearing these and you can never have too many jammy pants. You know what I'm saying? Next we'll do shirts. Anytime there is anything Frozen related. We have to purchase it. So I found two frozen t-shirts in okay condition because you know when you wash a t-shirt and the um, print distorts in the washer and dryer. But these are okay. So I got one short sleeve and another short sleeve frozen. I really wasn't in the market for short sleeve tees, but it was, you know, they're the frozen characters, so they had to be purchased. For long sleeve tees, I have this great gender neutral tee and it has a little pocket, okay, so cute. And it is a thick material, which is great. It's Cat and Jack, which I think is Target. Um, this is a two T. She definitely has room to grow in it though. It has these cute little slits at the bottom and the back is longer than the front, which I, love. We have a couple of those in here actually. Then I got this Gap, this Baby Gap Playtime Favorites toddler t-shirt and this is a 2T and I just thought it was so cute. Really simple thin cotton t-shirt. 
that's totally adorable. There's another Baby Gap 2T and it's a baby doll style t-shirt. It's a baby doll tee. This is a beautiful print, beautiful print. It's got a little bit of a cuffed sleeve on the end um, and then the baby doll ruching down the middle. Yeah, I try to put her in this as much as she'll let me because I think it's adorable. Then I have these two Granimals, Granimals 2T um, t-shirts and this is like a magenta and she has one in a light purple. Um, both from Goodwill, both like $2. It's also short in the front and long in the back. I did find this pair of Old Navy jeans at my local thrift store for, yes, that's right, 50 cents. But the cuff just makes it so much cuter and it's distressed. <laughs> These aren't actually holes. Um, they're just patches of distress, so she won't be like colder because it's a hole or anything because I did get these for colder months. The only pair of thin stretch pants I got were these Fair Isle pants because, I mean, it's so Christmassy. I had to get them. They're thin, perfect for indoors during Christmas. I got three pairs of sweatpants. She's wearing the velour sweatpants that I got. They're so soft. Oh my god, they're so soft on the outside. The inside, not as soft as the outside. But I don't think she minds. She hasn't complained about it yet. And they have pockets and they have a sparkly bow. So yeah, super cute. She's wearing those right now. But then I got these fairly just functional um, fleece joggers. No holes. They, the pockets are fake. It's granules, 24 months, um, mostly cotton. The cutest sweatpants for babies on planet Earth. They are Okie Dokie brand. I don't know what that is. Um, but it's a size 2T. <laughs> They're like baggy, wide leg sweatpants, which is my go-to as a mom. So I bought her some and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I have footage of this, which I will provide because it's adorable. But yeah, they're gray, there's no pockets, it's nice and thick um, and it's fleeced on the inside, which is great. It's also a Heather Marled um, color a heather gray so stains aren't going to show up as much they are pretty baggy and they're really long so she already has gotten you know some stains on the bottom from them dragging but now i know not to wear let her wear these outside she mostly wears these inside and if we do go outside i will just roll them up so that is my two-year-old's autumn and winter wardrobe and i i spent all of like $102. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, if you want to see me try to do my hair um, unsuccessfully, then watch my get ready with me. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you next time.